You know, people do different forms differently, uh, whether it be across lineages or even just individually. And one of the major reasons for that is the fact that as you go along in your martial arts journey, you are going to, out of absolute, like just matter of consequence necessity, you are going to diverge from your teacher. And when it becomes a significant enough difference, it kind of becomes your own lineage and, you know, becomes a branching off point. And sometimes that's severe and sometimes very slight. But the fact is that the whole point of lineages is that your understanding, your experience, your ability to analyze has led you to different conclusions than what you were expressly taught. Therefore, you create a new branching off point. And thus, there are going to be differences, including in things like forms and other formal drills. There are going to be differences. This is not somehow some kind of like sin or pockmark or anything like that on the martial arts. What that is, is uh, people actually taking ownership of their art, taking possession of their art, and no longer just copying. They have now adopted the art and made it their own, which is an important step. And if you're not, you know, if you're not doing that at some point, you're just a copycat. You're not actually a student. So here's the, the crux of it. Every art is built on, uh, let's say, a certain ethos, it built on a certain set of understandings and assumptions about the way the world works, about the way conflict works, about the way physical violence works, about the way that training and exercise work. It's built on a lot of uh, understandings and assumptions. And as you go along, because we know nobody has all the answers, uh, people are going to bring in new data and new perspectives and that's going to change. And here's the thing, right? You know, people will often say, well, when when does an art diverge enough that it be kind of becomes a completely separate, completely different art? Well, that's a hard thing to say. There's a lot of gray zone in there. But in general, I would say that like if you are remixing a form or remixing a drill, as long as you are still abiding by that original intent, the original ethos, the original concept of what the art was built around, say, you know, center line and close range fighting, for example, uh, I wonder who that could be, um, then you're not defying, <laughs> you're not defying the art, you're, you're simply tailoring it to who you are and the way that your understandings and assumptions and whatnot dictate that it should be. Now, that doesn't mean you're always going to be right, but it doesn't mean that the person that taught you was right. It doesn't mean the person that taught them was right. This is not some big, uh, you know, the art was handed down from the heavens and it was perfect and we've only lost information. That's, that's not how this works. Information is gained, information is lost, you know, some information is just mixed around and reordered. You know, sometimes you end up reinventing the wheel inadvertently. You know, the, the better job that you do of um, keeping records, the less you have to reinvent the wheel. But I mean, you know, that kind of stuff is just going to happen. So the fact is that when, when you see somebody who does a form, uh, you know, differently or does a drill differently, yeah, Instead of getting, uh, you know, getting, getting your back up and being all, all hairy about it, just like chill and go, I wonder why they're doing it that way. Ask questions rather than condemning first. It's much, much more productive and you just might find something that you like, uh, you know, outside of what you've done prior. So shouldn't be, shouldn't be a big issue. Not unless you're, you know, big on dogma and not so big on progress. All right, I think I've rambled on enough for today, so I will talk to you guys later. Good journey. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, give the dog a bone. You can follow us on our other social media accounts, and if you really like it, you can head over to Amazon and buy a shirt. You can also go over to Gumroad and purchase some of our instructional courses. All of the links will be provided and also on our website. If you happen to be in the Phoenix area, we would love to meet you. Come drop in for a class, you know, even just to chat. And if you're looking for a new home, we would be happy to have you. So until next time, good journey.